The stars showed up and so did the fans at Comic-Con Fan Days 2014. Susan was there and she brings us these highlights. Hey guys, this is Jason David Frank, the Green Ranger, and we are at Dallas Comic-Con! Yeah! Having a lot of fun. It's great. I'm liking it. I love it. Enjoying it quite, quite a bit. It's my first convention and I really, really am enjoying myself. We get to see all the costumes and get to see other people dressed up. The last stuff to look at. The Irving Convention Center hosted another jam-packed Van Days event. Once again, being back here in Irving, it's uh, it's always great because the Irving Convention Center takes really good care of us. And I think, you know, just the city of Irving as a whole is really starting to embrace kind of the pop culture community. Uh, it's great to see this city growing and especially some of the things that are happening here around the center. And so to be kind of like in the middle of that and being a part of that, uh, it just seems like a great kind of a nice little bit of symmetry there. To We're all kind of like working with each other to help the city of Irving have more exciting things going on. So yeah, this year's been good. For Grapevine Middle School student Ava Machado, this year's convention is about more than just buying comic books. I'm filming a documentary on Comic-Con, so I'm just going to be shooting all the fans and just what's going on. Today I'm probably going to start interviewing people uh, selling comic books and stuff. We let Ava go straight to work as we continue to check out all the great additions Fan Days had to offer. It's funny because people always ask me, it's like, is it, does it feel like the same thing every time or is it always different? And I say, well, you know, there's always new and exciting experiences to happen. Exciting things were happening. Kevin Sorbo, most popularly known for his role as Hercules on the hit TV series, came out to sign autographs. While Jason David Frank got his fans pumped to meet and snap a few pictures with the legendary Green Ranger himself. Also, keep an eye out. If there's something strange in your neighborhood, I know just who you should call. We're the DFW Ghostbusters. We're a cosplay group that does appearances, movies, uh, movie screenings. We've even been known to do a few birthday parties. Fans are even allowed to try on the one and only Proton Pack. And we randomly show up in places like Dallas and Fort Worth to just walk around and say hi to fans, let people take pictures of us. The celebrities, the comics, the merchandise. These are the perks of fan days, but there's a deeper reason why people make it a point to come out to Comic-Con. I enjoy getting to meet people with the like interests and uh, getting to see other people that are kind of into um, like the same stuff we're into because where we're from up near Amarillo, there's not a lot of cosplay opportunities. <laughs> well, if you like comic books or like sci-fi or anything like that, you can probably feel welcomed and like at home here because there are other people like you and we might be called nerds or whatever, but it's still really great and the people who do like this really enjoy it and you can see they're bringing it forth in their costumes and just their energy and it's, it's just a great atmosphere. Comic-Con continues to be a welcoming event where sci-fi fans can proudly unite. You look at these people even if you've never met them before and you just kind of have that nod like, I get who you are. Yeah. For About Town, this is Susan Kamyab reporting. Stay tuned, Sci-Fi Expo returns to the Urban Convention Center in February 2015.